In this video, I will show you how you can correct DocuSign envelopes that you've already sent in case you've made a mistake or forgot to attach a document. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Sofian. I'm the owner of SoluSign, an agency that helps businesses automate their business and bloody paperwork. There's a couple of different reasons why you would want to correct an envelope rather than creating a new one. First, creating a new envelope from scratch will be time consuming and will cost you a new envelope. Correcting an, an envelope that you've already sent is totally free. However, depending on your situation, there are things that you can or cannot change. So let me run you through the most common scenarios that I see my clients facing when wanting to correct an envelope. So let's start with the most common one. You've made a mistake, but none of your recipients have signed the document yet. If that's the case, there's no restrictions to what you can correct. So to correct the envelope, go to the Manage tab, then select the Sent Items. From here, you can see that I've sent this envelope to three different recipients and none of them have signed. If one of them had signed, um, there would be a tick mark next to the name. So I can currently go ahead and click on Correct. And from here, I can change, update, remove, whatever I want, whether it's the document, workflow um, with recipients, and I can also add extra fields for my recipients. Once I'm done correcting the envelope, I click on correct, and my recipients can still use the email that they have received uh, in the first place to complete the envelope. So it's totally transparent. No one will know that you've actually corrected the envelope if um, no one has signed yet. Another scenario which is very common is when you've sent an envelope to a couple of different recipients and one or more has already signed. As you can see, the first recipient has already signed the envelope. So if I click on correct, I won't be able to change the document that was already signed. What I can do is I can upload an extra document but that document will only be seen or be able to be acted on by the ones who haven't completed um, their action yet. And I obviously can't change the initial recipient's name and email because that person has already signed, but I can make the changes I want to the following recipients. If you're not able to see the upload uh, feature when correcting the envelope, it might be due to the sending settings. So if you want to be able to upload an extra document in case you forgot to add one, you want to make sure that the only option that's available under the envelope correct section is enabled. This will allow you to add a document after one or more recipients have completed their action. And another very common scenario is when you've forgotten to add a field or a document into your envelope, but all your recipients or your only recipients have already signed the document, which means that your envelope has now a status which says completed instead of pending. If that's the case, you cannot correct your envelope. You will have to resend a new one. But it's a quicker way than starting a new envelope from scratch. So what you can do is click on more and create a copy of your envelope. This will pull all the recipient's details as well as the fields and the document into a new envelope. And from here, you can just follow the normal steps um, that you would normally do to send your envelopes. So you now know how to correct an envelope with DocuSign. If you want to learn more about how I use DocuSign every day, you can hit the subscribe button to be notified when I upload my weekly videos just on DocuSign and other workflow automation tools. If you want to discuss a project that you're working on with DocuSign, you can explore my consulting options by using the link in the description of this video and you can even book a free 30 minutes call with me. I'll see you in the next video, but until then, happy signing.